What's up, everybody? Um, I wanted to shed a little more color on uh, the uranium market and uh, the company uh, UR Energy. Uh, I listened to my video I put out uh, two nights ago, and uh, I realized that I, I missed on some key points that I wish I'd have brought up, but I will now. Um, if you Google uranium and then click on news, you'll see that a lot of governments are pushing forward with funding to su support the uranium uh, mining business. For example, uh, if you look at the United States, uh, I didn't talk about this, but they've only got eight active mines running right now. Eight. For the country that uses the most uranium in the world, what does that tell you? It's not easy to find. It's out there, but the problem is you got to go the, through the red tape, the proposals with the government to get the agreements, to do the surveys, and then to, to, to get it out of the ground. They say that, that that's like uh, takes anywhere from six to ten years to go into the manufacturing process of, of turning out uh, uranium for the market. Now, uh, if you look at the United States, and I didn't say this, but uh, UR Energy is based in Wyoming. They're sitting on the biggest mine right now in the United States. It's up at Lost Creek. And they have other properties too, also uh, United States and in Canada. And I think they're strategically uh, positioned, headquartered out of Colorado, because there's a lot of chatter about uranium up around the Grand Canyon that historically has been been there with, that we've known about and we have done it in the past but uh, the political officials and government of Arizona are trying to get a handle on the uranium market in their backyard before the federal government does that's the fear there's a lot of back and forth going about it if you look at the editorials and stuff it's a good read um, so I think this is a future you know uh, opportunity for UR energy where uh, they get private uh, funding to, to, to move into that area as they're strategically close by um, I also want to talk about the, the Kazakhstan and uh, the International uh, Atomic Nuclear Agency have just formed a bank, like a reserve bank, to protect uh, uran uh, nuclear reactors from having a shortage of supply because, like I said, after 2020, the current projected inventory and supply will not meet the needs of what people want, what the different uh, countries want. Uh, I also want to talk about uh, South Korea's big in uh, nucle uh, nuclear energy and have been paid to help pay uh, build uh, reactors in various countries. It's kind of interesting, but uh, they're like in the forefront of the technology. Uh, it's a safe technology. It's amazing where technology can take us, not just in the medical field, but in the precious metals, you know, and uh, mining as well, as expected. So I'm really excited. I think, uh, I think I've made a really good investment, and I think if you guys look, even if you watch from the sidelines and wait for it to start moving, uh, it's definitely a vehicle you want to get on board with and uh, I, I'm just I'm just pro pro uranium uh, I've seen where uh, some green groups have come out you know with a with a defiant stand against nuclear reactors but I don't think they even know what they're talking about and they're they're starting to flip now uh, realizing that nuclear energy is a green clean energy and 
I think when they think of nuclear reactors, they think about the potential for, uh, you know, nuclear bombs and stuff. But you guys, you got to realize that uh, for nuclear weapons, to have weapons grade uranium, that's got to be 90% process, okay? Whereas for electricity, it's only 3%. And it's very, very expensive to do 90%. And uh, they are closely monitored for for people that are trying to create nuclear weapons. Uh, nobody wants nukes. That's why everybody is on board, uh, you know, and involved in coalitions and partnerships through various countries uh, to control that the movement. Of uranium so that it can't be processed for nuclear wep weapons grade you know uh, but I'm big on uranium I'm big on the prospects I mean I, I know I'm saying I'm talking to you guys in layman terms but like I said just type in uranium and then uh, put it in Google and do a search and then click news and you'll see Australia is making a big push uh, Canada's making a big push for further expansion, like I think they're in Manitoba, um, Australia, huge push. Um, the United States, obviously, huge push. Only eight mines. I mean, seriously. That's why I think you are energy is the darling, and they're sitting on the biggest mine. I mean, in Wyoming at Lost Creek. So what does that tell? You? And by the end of October, they're supposed to. Uh, it's going before uh, uh, for public comments. I think it um, the state is uh, going to have the, the the comments where people can give their two cents until October 27, 29. I can't remember the exact date. And then they're planning on uh, expanding that mine that's already the biggest to double in size. So uranium's a good thing for the environment for the ozone layer it's great for uh, the economics uh, like if you look at Australia all the towns around uranium mines are the highest paid and most profitable and highest capita of the population um, and, and, and you'll see that with everywhere else. Like, uh, for example, near the Grand Canyon, Arizona, the same thing's going to happen. That's why they want to get their hands around it. That's why they want don't want the federal government, you know, reaching down and and taking it for themselves. They're, they're trying to get everything passed so that they can they can have it within the state and, and profit. A lot of money involved, obviously. Um, uh, all, all the all the arrows are pointed up, people. Um, uranium's the next big thing. I mean, hell, it was only 2007 when they created a futures market for it. That's how kind of new, you know what I mean? It's been around for over a century. Uh, it was discovered in the late 1700s uh, by a German scientist, but they didn't know what they were looking at. They and then in like a hundred years later, in the 1800s, they realized uh, what you could do with uranium. And most scientists will tell you, it's common knowledge that uranium is the mo probably the most precious thing on earth. And it was named after the planet uh, Uranus. So it's amazing what you can do with it vision and everything I mean just do your research please comment love to hear back from you guys love to hear what your two cents are uh, I'm just ecstatic I'm excited about it I've been watching this market trying to learn this market and I'm still learning every day for over a year now um, but I really think that uh, you're gonna see a shortage you got these utilities they buy you know future contracts they lock down in these contracts for eight to ten years uh, they like to purchase these contracts three to five years from expiration 
currently a lot of them have, a lot of contracts have expired or about to expire. So I had one guy say to me, well, you know, on my, on my first video, well, they agree with the 2020 shortage, but why get uranium now? There's still time, you know, before it takes up. But see, the way I look at it is everybody knows what the timeline is. That's why you're seeing the push for funding, um, you know, government-backed funding to get these uranium mines up and uh, operational uh, because it's important. It's it's where the future's going. Uh, you know, these all these other alternative energies are important too. Solar energy, wind energy, uh, ocean turbines, but they're all at the mercy of the environment, you know? Uh, whereas a nuclear reactor is 24 seven and they're cheap, they, you know, the, the, the cost of the utilities much cheaper than, uh, you know, some of the, some of these other uh, technologies they currently uh, use. So I just wanted to talk about everything that I missed in my first video and I hope you guys find it informative and I hope, uh, you know, I didn't embarrass myself with, uh, you know, where I'm coming at my angle, but I think, I think it's a great, a great uh, sector to watch and I hope uh, you can profit, profit from it as well. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.